What is up, cracking bass fans? Out at the lake with my dad, out at Lake Powell. And since I've been here, I've learned a real cool new technique that I want to show you. Um, it's a little bit out there, but it really works. It's Nico rigging a creature bait. So I've got a baby brush hog tied on and I put a nail weight in it. And these small mouth and large mouth here at Lake Powell have just been hammering it. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up and we're gonna throw it around a little bit. And uh, yeah, try this bait. It's been working for me. Hopefully it can help you catch a few fish too. Here we go. So here it is. I throw it on a spinning rod setup. It's really small, but these, these type of creature baits are really good for Nico rigging. They're thin and I just slide a little nail weight right up in the head of the bait. You can see how this thing has been chomped. Put a rubber o-ring um, right in the middle of the bait. You get one of those o-ring tools, fold those up, and then put your o-ring right there in the middle and you chuck that sucker around. Put a little, little color on that guy and he's been whacking them. So I just throw it on a little spinning rod Throw it right around the shade lines of these rocks and catch a few bass on it. Key to this bait is you let it fall all the way down and then just kind of shake it along just like you were Nico rigging a worm. That creature just has a lot more action and they seem to really enjoy it. Oh no. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Got him. Let it set a little bit. Ooh, Nico Hog. Ooh, nice one. Deep. Okay, this is a deep hook, hook job. So, the only tool for the job is my crack and bass pliers. Make sure you go get you a pair. There's a link in this post, and that sucker is deep. And I was able to reach down in there and get that hook out with those crack and bass pliers. These things are awesome. I'm, Dad's got one up there. Wow, sweet fish. See ya, buddy. Holy cow, he, he come right up to the boat and ate it. Oh, God! <laughs> My line was clear over there and I set the hook and flipped him into the boat. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, here's how to get this set up. Got your O-ring tool. I got my hook tied on. I got a 1 16th nail weight. Got some Zoom baby brush hogs. I also like these Strike King game hogs. I'm gonna use one of those. They both work equally well, that little creature style. It's awesome. So what you do is you just Look how these things just slide right in. 
Well, you want to slide it so the tails don't get the o-rings in them. Then you slide that o-ring. These o-rings are small. Ah. Put it right over the creature bait. Slide it down a little bit. Once you get it over the tails, you're good. Put it right there, kind of right in the middle. And insert your nail weight right in the head of the bait. Make sure you get your nail in there straight. It'll make your bait go cockeyed. I like to shove the nail all the way up in and pull the plastic over it, just like that. There it is, ready to rock. And then you take your uh, stinger hook and just take a little bit of the plastic, a little bit of the creature. Pop it out. You want the dark side forward on this game hog. This color is I've been using green pumpkin for brush hog, and this game hog is moon juice. So anyway, you just Nico rig this sucker, and it freaking works. Let's go. Creech. There you go. There it is. Zoom brush hog. The nail weight in the front. O ring in the middle. This is a size one stinger hook. It stings them. Anyway, let's end on this guy. Well, hope you enjoyed that post and this video. Super fun, it's a good little bait. It caught some several fish for me and uh, hopefully you can add it to your arsenal and catch a few fish too. Make, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and then also, you know, grab you a Kraken Bass cap. Don't forget my pliers, they're freaking sweet. They'll cut braid and open up split rings. And, Anyway, get out, bass fishing, take your family. This is a great setup. Let's let this baby go.